Are you somebody who has been struggling with recurrent episodes of acne? Well, then you must have searched Google a lot about effective home remedies. What did you come up with? I'm sure this particular formulation would have come up a lot in your search. Do you know what it is? What it contains? No? Then let's find out today. Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Sakshi Agrawal, Consultant Dermatologist at Satya Hair Solutions and Satya Aesthetics and today I shall be reviewing a very commonly used product in cases of acne that is Acne Star Gel. What it contains, how does it work, is it really effective, what are the do's, what are the don'ts, what are the synergistic combinations, what are the side effects and limitations and how to use this gel. If you haven't already subscribed our channel, then please do it and do not forget to press the bell icon. So Acne Star Gel, it contains clindamycin in the concentration of 1% and nicotinamide in the concentration of 4%. It is commonly used in patients of acne and other related conditions like folliculitis, hydronitis superativa, etc. But first thing first, let's first understand why does acne happens and then we'll come to the role of acne star gel in clearing or treating acne. So how does acne happen? You know there are many glands which are present on your facial skin on other parts of your body as well. These glands open on the surface of the skin with the help of pores. Now sometimes these pores they get blocked by either increased sebum production, by dead cells, by dead bacteria and it might also get infected, secondarily infected by bacteria. So this is the whole pathogenesis of acne. Now we will review how acne star gel in particular clindamycin helps in acne on which spots of acne it is more effective which type of acne respond more to clindamycin which type of acne do not respond to clindamycin so what is the mechanism of action of clindamycin you know clindamycin is an antibiotic and it is available both as in topical form and oral form but here we are talking about topical formulation of clindamycin which is available as a gel based formulation or a spray or a lotion so this clindamycin it is an antibacterial product and it works against the bacteria which are associated with acne so it will not only clear those bacteria but it also reduces the inflammatory mediators which are secreted by those bacteria and therefore it reduces the inflammation and hence it helps in the redness that is associated with acne it also helps in clearing the pustular lesions or the infected lesions of acne. The second product in this gel is nicotinamide, which is the active form of vitamin B3. Now this nicotinamide, it regulates sebum production, so it helps in unclogging the blocked pores. That is the first step to develop acne. It also reduces the redness a little bit, and of course, it leads to reduction in the inflammation, which is present in the local site surrounding the acne. Now let's see what are the side effects of using this particular formulation. So see uh, clindamycin and nicotinamide both have as such a very good compliance profile. They are uh, most of the times non-irritating all the patients tolerate them very well. But in some cases the patients may feel a little bit of a stinging sensation or irritation after application of this product. In such cases you should not try to reapply it. You should obviously go to a dermatologist and then as per their opinion, you should proceed further. Second problem that occurs with clindamycin is that these days we are seeing a lot of acne patients, they do not respond to clindamycin because of the development of bacterial resistance. And this has happened because clindamycin has been used over the counter without any prescription, without uh, the prescription of the dermatologist. It has been supplied and used by the chemists and you know, everybody is seeing it online and they are just purchasing it and irrespective of the type of acne, whether it is working on that particular type of acne or not, they are using this medicine. 
and that is why some of the bacteria they have now started becoming resistant to this particular topical formulation so if uh, you see the timeline like few years back this was quite effective in uh, the lesions of acne but nowadays we are seeing a lot of resistance that is emerging against clindamycin third a very rare side effect that is uh, seen with long term use of topical clindamycin is gram negative folliculitis now what happens in gram negative folliculitis you know there are uh, some normal flora that is present um, on our skin and uh, if you are uh, using clindamycin for a prolonged time sometimes these flora get disturbed and because of that since clindamycin has no role against gram negative bacteria so these bacteria flourish unchecked and this may lead to some pustular lesions and this is called gram negative folliculitis so uh, this is one of the very rare but a serious side effect of using clindamycin now coming to the limitations of this particular formulation so see clindamycin per se or even nicotinamide they have no role in uh, many forms of acne because uh, they have no role in epithelial differentiation so uh, the, the 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 type of acne cases where retinoids work very well in those cases uh, clindamycin doesn't per se has any role to do secondly it has no role no effect on acne scar and acne blemishes so if you have these two things there is no point in using clindamycin right third thing that uh, people who have acne sometimes they also have concurrent open pores so clindamycin per se it doesn't work on open pores so it is not very effective over there you don't need to use it and we have so many good options available for the treatment of open pores then some people think clindamycin that it is uh, it is something that is going to clear your skin and they try to use it as a skin lightening or a skin brightening or whitening agent so please it has no role whatsoever in terms of pigmentation it is not going to lighten your skin it is not going to brighten your skin so please do not waste your money and time into using this particular product for this purpose you must have also come across these kind of lesions this is called nodulocystic acne now clindamycin is not a very effective medication in this kind of lesions you need systemic medications in the form of retinoids and other therapies which are going to help in these particular lesions now we shall discuss how to use this particular formulation or any other brand that you are using so how to incorporate it into your daily skin care regime so see if you have acne like lesions and if your dermatologist has prescribed you to use clindamycin then they will also tell you whether to use it once a day or twice a day accordingly you have to set the frequency it is not to be applied on the whole face it's just applied like a spot on treatment on the acne and on the surrounding skin then the third important point is when you are applying clindamycin it is very important to take care of sun protection so you should wear your sunscreen at regular interval and you should also take care of protecting yourself from sun rays with the help of physical sunblock like uh, covering your face with a scarf or using an umbrella you should try to follow these instructions now we will discuss some synergistic formulations that are available with clindamycin but before proceeding to that let me tell you that clindamycin as i have told you before it doesn't work really well as a standalone therapy in most of the acne cases so we need to combine it with other topical therapies of acne or systemic therapies for acne so uh, amongst the topical therapy it is commonly combined with benzyl peroxide it is a good combination as we have discussed that there are many cases these days we are seeing lot of resistance against clindamycin so combining it with benzoyl peroxide not only increases its potential but it also overcomes that uh, resistance and it delays the development of resistance because benzoyl peroxide has also antibacterial action anti inflammatory action so it works in a synergistic way with clindamycin another combination that can be combined with topical clindamycin is oral systemic therapies for acne which may include oral antibiotics or oral retinoids depending on your dermatologist suggestion one more combination is available which contains clindamycin along with zinc now what is the benefit of adding zinc with clindamycin so see zinc also has a little bit in anti inflammatory action so it would definitely help in the action of clindamycin and also in the pathogenesis of acne another combination that is available in the market is uh, clindamycin and adapalene 
because adiplin and trindamycin both have different mechanism of action adiplin basically belongs to retinoids and clindamycin is an antibiotic so both have different actions but they work both of them they work on different steps of acne pathogenesis and hence they both can be combined together so this is all that you should know about clindamycin but as we have time and again stated in our previous videos the purpose of these videos uh, which we are dedicating on a particular uh, cream or a particular gel or a particular medicine that is being used in hair or skin it is to make you aware about that particular medicine about that particular formulation but as we have always stated and emphasized you should never ever self medicate yourself these all tubes and gels and oral medications these have active compounds so these should never be taken on your own these should never be used as an over the counter medication if you have any other query or if you wish us to make another video on a particular cream or a formulation that you wish to know about then please drop that in the comment section and we would definitely try to make a video on that if you haven't already subscribed our channel then please do it and do not forget to press the bell icon so till we meet next time just keep your hand to your heart and keep repeating to yourself that i love myself <laughs>